guys, welcome back to this week's Job with Jason. This week's topic, it's kind of a scary topic, so listen up, all right? Everyone kind of knows that the entire United States is under a lot of cyber security attacks, okay? So cyber crime is a big deal in the US. So when you buy a house, it's no different, okay? So here's what happens. I want to explain to you what happens. When you buy a house and you go to close it, it's typically a rather large down payment, anywhere from $5,000 up to $500,000, okay? And so here's what happens in the, in the mortgage space or in the real estate space when you buy a home. You go through the closing, you do all the paperwork to do your own. There's tons of emails going back and forth between title companies, real estate companies, mortgage companies, surveyors, appraisers, there's all these emails going back and forth. So here's what's happening. Hackers are getting into either a company's email or um, a company's email or the clients in particular. They're looking for the clients They'll get into your computer just like they get into your phone and cameras, and they'll just sit back and watch. It's called phishing. They'll sit there and watch your watch your communication, and they see someone that's buying a house, and they will try to intercept uh, your funds, if you will. So what they do, what it looks like is the client, um, they'll be going back and forth on a real estate transaction with all these communications going back and forth. The hacker will jump into via email and email the client buying the house, okay? They will act typically like the title company, okay? These emails look very official, they look real. In fact, they even cut and paste the email signatures off from the title company. They put phone numbers on there, the whole nine yards. About a week before closing is when these usually happen, saying, hey, you're getting ready to close, wire your funds to this title company, and here are the wiring instructions, okay? Pretty scary stuff, because once you send that wire, it's extremely hard to get back, okay? So that's how it happens. Now, here are some things to look out for, okay? Number one, any reputable company across the U.S. will never, ever send you wiring instructions via email unsecured. So if you're getting wiring instructions to wire that money to closing, all right, make sure it's a secure email. So you should have to create a password, login, that type of stuff, okay? Um, I would also make sure after you log in and get those wiring instructions to pick up the phone and call that title escrow officer um, personally and make sure they read back those wiring instructions and make sure they do match, okay? Um, and make sure you're not sending money in the wrong place. Also watch out for if you get this email, what these hackers do a lot of times is they take the email for the title company or someone in the transaction and what they do is they create a Gmail account or a Yahoo account. And what they do is they put the lady's name or the, the guy's name for the, for the title company and they put their exact name or they put something in the Last one I saw was the title company's name, dash closing at gmail.com. So if you see a Gmail, Hotmail, or a Yahoo account in one of these emails, it's fake, okay? So what are you supposed to do when this happens? Definitely make sure you let your mortgage professional know. Make sure you real estate professional know, and the title companies well too. The FBI cybersecurity is what needs to get in place as well too, because the FBI cybersecurity, if you do send a wire to the wrong place, they're the only ones that can tell the banking institution to stop, okay? So I know this is pretty heavy today, I know it's pretty serious, but I just wanna make sure that our clients that are out there that are wiring money are being very, very careful who they're wiring that money to and what to look out for. Oh, and what I, one example I saw too is the wiring instructions were sent in an attachment, and the attachment, you could just look at it and tell nothing was lined up, there was no header on it, there was no footer on it, you could just tell it was very plagiarized. So if something's fishy, right out of the norm. In fact, it's not even fishy. I would pick up the phone and call that title company. Make sure you have the right wiring instructions, right? If you're local, pick up a cashier's check. Call the title company and someone get a cashier's check. Now just bring it down and make sure they take a cashier's check. So typically wire a cashier's check to good. So be safe out there. Make sure if you have any questions, call your mortgage professional, call your realtor, call the title company. We're always here to help. Talk to you soon and have a great day.